Hi guys, this is Miss Igo. Welcome to my classroom. Today we're going to be talking about Flory's algorithm. Flory's algorithm is a structured method for finding an Euler path or an Euler circuit. The steps in Flory's algorithm are as follows. If searching for an Euler circuit, start at any vertex. If searching for an Euler path, start at one of the two vertices with an odd degree. If you'll remember, the theorem for an Euler circuit states that all vertices must have an even degree. If an Euler path exists, then the graph can have at most two vertices with an odd degree. Then choose any path leaving your current vertex, provided that deleting that edge will not separate the graph into two disconnected sets of edges. Add that edge to your circuit and delete it from the graph. Then just continue until you're done. Let's use Flory's algorithm to find an Euler circuit in this graph. Remember, when finding an Euler circuit, you can start at any vertex. Let's just start with vertex A. If we start at vertex A, we could either remove the edge going from A to B or A to D. Let's remove A to B. And then we'll add that to our circuit. Now that we're on B, we have three choices. We could go to vertex E, vertex D, or vertex C. Look what happens though if we go to vertex D. Removing that edge would cause the graph to become disconnected. As you see, if we are on vertex D and we have removed the edge from B to D, the only vertex I can travel to would be A. I can no longer get to vert vertices E, B, or C. So these two sections of the graph are now disconnected and we don't want that. So we can choose to remove edge, the edge going from B to E or from B to C. Let's go from B to C. So we've removed that edge and now we're going to add C to our circuit. Now that we're on vertex C, the only choice we have is to go to vertex E. So we're going to remove that edge and add E to our circuit. From here on out, there's only one path that we can take. So we're going to continue removing edges and adding vertices to our circuit. And the only place left to go is vertex A, which is where we started. And that completes our circuit. If this video helped you out, be sure to hit subscribe and tell your classmates about Miss Igo's classroom. Thanks for watching.